What is going on, Lunatics? Guys, we're going to talk real quick about the Luna Classic community. We're going to talk about a couple of different things here. But uh, as I told you the other day, my computer messed up. My computer just messed up again. So um, it's going to be a little bit of an abridged version here. So I'm going to walk you through this as quickly as possible. There are things that you need to know about the day. I'm going to tell you exactly everything you need to know. And then from there, we'll move on. First up, <clears throat> Terraform Labs, three arrows Capital is now suing Terraform Labs for $1.3 billion, saying that because they didn't get the return on their investment uh, and because there was this whatever it was that happened, they should be entitled to compensation from Terraform Lab. Um, Do you need compensation? It, it's one of those weird American commercials. Uh, so, you know, we'll we'll see what happens over there, but we should know. I don't think it really matters at this point because they're bankrupt. So uh, and I don't think a company is going to be able to come after them after they've been cleared through bankruptcy and liquidation. Uh, the best they could do is file a claim. So uh, in my opinion, so we'll see what happens, but you should know that. Also, uh, we've been up about 30%. I told you guys what I think is going to happen. Uh, getting a little confirmation here from other people who are talking about the same thing. Lunk looks bearish. Price pull back to previous high. Expect a sell short opportunity, which is somebody saying right now. Um, it says right here. Meanwhile, crypto traders are expecting short selling opportunities on Lunk. Chart analysis packed and commented that Lunk looks bearish. Price pull back to previous high. Uh, pr referring to the double digit retracement uh, to the seven day high. The trader set an invalidation target at 30108. So, uh, and what he's saying is that this will inv I'll show you in just one second. And he's wrong, but I'll show you in just a second. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do that now. So uh, to invalidate the move, what he's basically saying is, and, and I guess I should say I, I support the idea that this is it, but we're going to have to close above this nine right here. Otherwise, he's going to be right and we're going to look at a bearish breakdown. However, what he's talking about right here is that up in this range is where you can see the 200 MA coming into play. We've talked about this before. That is the next big move. So in the event that we can get this move and this confirmation and then a play up into this confirmation and then a breakout above that, we got a long way to go. But at this moment, what we're looking at right now is we have to have that impetus to move this market upward. Now, um, we've reached the spot where the market should be set to soar. It should be set to take off. We should be looking at uh, some positivity in this market, and we've not really seen, we we've seen sideways trading, we've seen some dumping, you know, we've seen a little bit of pumping as well. I mean, you know, we're not, uh, it, we, we've had some some pretty big highs going back to June and May and you know, places like that. So, you know, there's been some some opportunity for positivity, but long-term positivity, the, the entire market is still waiting for that. And by the way, you don't need me for that. You can just go look at Ethereum right now. Just had, uh, just had an ETF launch, not even close to its all-time high. I mean, it's just basically, you know, wicked down here into 2000 a couple of days ago. So we're not there yet. Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin, a little bit different. Even if it wicks down, it's still, you know, long term, way, 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 way up. Uh, but that's the outlier. The, the rest of the market is bleeding. Uh, we've seen Crow take some enormous hits. We've seen a lot of different projects out here that just can't seem to get that big pump going. And so that's why you should not be nervous about what you are seeing on these charts. So uh, with USTC trading at about 1.6 cents, it's the same thing. It's just, it's due for a breakout. It will have its breakout at some point very, very soon. Uh, and then we can, you know, we can make some determinations at that point about what the next step is. But for right now, for right now, um, you know, we're just going to idly sit back and, and sort of wait for that next big move continuing to build. And let's talk about what we're continuing to build. Um, and, and by the way, nothing really on Commonwealth has has changed. So uh, we're going to kind of skip through some of this. Uh, the 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 overall market, as you can see, just a little mixture of green and red. Nothing really highlighting as sticking out. Garuda had a, a 5% uh, rip today. Um, Juris up 7%. Now remember, Juris is formerly Rakeoff token. So <clears throat> a couple of these have had pretty good runs, but, and by the way, I'm not connected to anything. I just got the wallet connected to this. So I'm, I'm working my way through this, this collapse thing again. Uh, no proposals up for station. We're just ending this 12119, which uh, I think it is my opinion that it's going to be very, very close. But in one day, it looks like it's going to pass. Like, like it looks like we are getting to the spot where it could pass governance, which the, I think the number is right there. If, it, if enough green you know, pops up over here, it's going to depend on what we see right here. So we're seeing a bunch of people abstaining or voting outright no. 
um, and, and it's removing the KYC. And I'm going to talk to you about why this is a bad, bad move. And I hope, um, I, I, I hope that nobody here uh, wants to remove the KYC. Uh, these guys were wanting to remove it. Look, let's talk about Battle Force Validator real quick on this. So we have been debating the KYC issue in the Validator chat. Please read the memo from Elba, and this is the reality of removing KYC. It's worth reading the conversation in the Val chat. Uh, the solution will be the following. Renzo has offered the community his services to review any code submitted by non-KYC devs. Renzo's company, which is USA-based, falls under the jurisdiction of the SEC. Therefore, any malpractice would be under his responsibility. This solves the problem of devs providing their identities and provides the security that the chain needs. The best way to proceed, in my opinion, would be to veto the current vote to remove KYC, then create a new prop that, that modifies Prop 12033 to include these amendments. This solution would keep both sides happy, as it involves both concerns. I don't know if it does or not, but they're in the validators chat, and I'm in I mean, I guess I'm in it too, so so I, I just don't pay attention to these conversations. But as a dev, I must say no. Non-devs have no idea how much power devs have and how much damage can be inflicted with the slightest code change. L1 devs have the ability to rug the entire chain, especially when they approve their own code pull request. And again, going back over, who's voting yes that they want KYC, Interstellar Lounge, uh, I would question what they're trying to do. Luna Station, I would question what they're trying to do. Burrito Note, I would question what they're trying to do. Stick Ben, Vegas Note, Lunk Goblins. I would, I would question why they want to do this. Like, I'm, I, I would be wondering what is the reason that they think... Here's, here's the thing. My question is, I would be wondering why they think that it's safe for the consumer uh, to, to have zero KYC. And by the way, one of the arguments has always been, well, what if I work in a sensitive position or something like that? with government and you know this is what i do on the side but i can't have anybody find out about it well that's what kyc is that's why that's what private kyc is for so you know if this is a thing then i would say yeah it makes perfect sense except except that that would mean that you don't trust your team or something there's something that i'm missing that makes you want to be completely and by the way it could just be that you're a complete libertarian and you think that everything should be like it was back in the old days and that's fair enough but at the same time if you want crypto to move forward and and not be you know in the back channels and hiding and stuff like that then something has to give and you're the one's going to have to give because the sec is still coming for everybody not just you and not just me so I, I think that we need to do exactly what they just said, like maybe come up with a different proposal that would allow somebody, somebody's going to have to be able to vet this thing. Uh, you can't just have these people doing this. Um, so Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered uh, you have to follow their telegram follow cryptonomy on x make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months there's no amount given but the winners could range from 100 to ten thousand dollars so check it out today also we now have a dark mode on cryptonomy so if you haven't make sure you go check that out now i told you guys before i'm a big time fan of api3 i think it's going to be one of the bangers we're going to do this one for six months and we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're going to do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough. The market, get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with Cryptonomy.finance today. Well, let's move on here. Uh, trading volume, way down 50% more today. Uh, same thing over here on USTC. Uh, there's just it's just not a lot of trade volume. There's just not a lot. We're not at that moment yet. Burns down to 252 billion, 252 million uh, over the last couple of days. Again, we're at the middle point of the month where everything seems to be always down. Uh, but if you want to get up, get up on it. Uh, then Luna Classic, Luna, BNB, BUSD, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You can go trade all of these, and you can go trade. Uh, you can go to terracasino.io, uh, the best place for your gaming and risk-based investments here. Uh, go, go out here, PvP poker a little bit. Play some uh, sports. College football is coming very soon. NFL is coming very soon. NBA is coming very soon. Uh, uh, the NHL is coming very soon. Uh, don't miss out on that opportunity. Also, you can do gaming wagering as well, not just sports and athletic, but you can go. You can wager on Counter-Strike Go, League of Legends, whatever it is that you're looking for, go sign up for it today. Helps me out. This is one of the sponsors of the channel. Sign up over there today. Also, terraport.finance in case you are looking. And again, I'm not my wallet. Well, you know what? I can actually connect my wallet now. All right, boom shakalaka. All right, so 
Um, if you want to earn, first of all, yield farms. We, we've got staking right now, which I'm doing the staking. Uh, I'm on the three month over here, uh, but yield farming over here. We need some yield farmers. So uh, get in, get in where you fit in, bro. Whatever they say, bro, I don't know, sis, I don't care. Uh, Rocket uh, over here. I don't know if you guys got any, but uh, it says I will receive zero Rocket coin. I think that's a lie. Maybe it will. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, uh, but you, you guys know I got 3,873 points, 1,900 quest points, 1,973 total. So uh, m maybe we'll see that I get a few rocket tokens. Again, this is one of those um, games that I want to play because it's tower defense. I love tower defense. As a matter of fact, to give you guys Defense Grid, one of my all-time favorite games. I downloaded it on my computer yesterday. I'm playing it again just when I have a little spare time. I don't have any spare time, but when I do have spare time, I'm going to be playing that game. So um, that's it, guys. Um, there's you know there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of conversation to be had. A lot of conversations being held about what you know what the next path forward is uh, with K with regards to KYC. And look, if there's no KYC, I love Luna Classic. If there is KYC, I love Luna Classic. Either way, I'm a Luna Classic fan. I'm gonna be here. Okay, I'm gonna be helping these guys talk about this stuff. I'm gonna be helping these guys um, uh, promote it. Uh, I'm I'm in on the project. So no matter what. This is a community. I this is a community principle, and uh, if you guys decide that this is the path forward, it's the path forward. If you decide there's a different path fo path forward, there's a different path forward. Um, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, make sure to remember this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we will see you again tomorrow. And hopefully, it won't be so disjointed. I feel uh, because I'll have my computer worked out. We'll talk to you again very very soon.